What is up guys? My name is Mark Samaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome <laughs> Sorry, let's try that again. What is up guys? My name is Mark Samaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. It's freaking trash. Someone put a trash can right here during my walk path to my area. Anyways, oh man, it's a great day. Today I'm actually going to hit the track for the first time in 2019. For all you haters who are like, oh man, he hasn't been racing, he hasn't been at the track. Week one, I was building. Week two, I was sick. This is like barely week three. So I'm out there. I had an option. I could have either went to a track and practiced, um, got my car dialed in, or I could have went down a Thornhill racing circuit down in Hutto, Texas, and raced the first round of the series. I do this to myself all the time. Like my typical knee-jerk reaction is, screw it, let's just go race. But I've never even, I mean, I drove this car before. Actually, I've never drove the point before. I need to tune this thing in. I, I never actually take uh, my time and dial my cars in. I always just go straight to racing and I need to stop doing that. So instead of going out to Thornhill, I'm going out to NDRC World, I'm going to get my buggy dialed in. Shouldn't take me long. They have uh, basically today's track day. So from 11 till about 5, I'll be able to just dial my car. And that should be enough time to get a good solid tune on my car, feel comfortable with it. And then, maybe, just maybe, might do some club of the night. So, I don't know. But anyways, I'm super excited. I feel great. I feel way better than I have all year. I have um, antibiotics. Everything is flushed out. I'm super good. I lost 12 pounds. Granted, it's for bad reasons. It's because I've been sick. But I've lost 12 pounds since the beginning of the year. Feel, feel better than ever. So, let's hit the track, guys. All right, we made it out. So, I'm really hesitant on showing you guys the main voyage. I don't know if it, it could be bad, it could be good. I'm running an extremely box setup, the box of the box setup on the EB48.4. Maybe I'll do it for the vlog, just so you guys can see. It, it might be hooked up right off the start, but track looks a little wet. They told us that it was gonna be run a little wet today. Uh, usually when you run wet tracks, except for Pro-Line tires at least, you wanna run like an M compound, which I should have that somewhere in my bag of tires, but I'm gonna let the track run in a little bit, let the batteries charge up and then we're gonna do it, Let's see what happens. Hmm. Short course is good. I prefer driving that those more. All right guys, it's never gonna be this clean ever again. Never. Ever. Never, ever. So, sorry. I'm running some M compound for sure, but I'm gonna run some uh, kind of worn out ones. Track's a little wet, so there's gonna be a lot of traction. So I don't think I need too much tread. So we'll see how that works out for me. I will record my main void. Whoa, whoa, we gotta run away, we gotta run away. Hong, huh, seriously? I 
Look guys, sometimes your car is just nervous, all right? It's his first day out. It's game time, he's scared. He knows he's club racing tonight. He's got the jitters. All right, so that wasn't so bad. Um, I didn't change much. I mean, the car felt really good. So there's a, I'm learning the new track. They just changed the track, I'm learning the track. I knew I was kind of, I wasn't sure about the whole tire situation. The track was a little wet, so I kind of had to play around a little bit, but the car feels really good. I'm not changing much. I changed the kick up. I don't like to run that much kick up on the front. The car comes stock with almost, actually it's max kick up. So I took a little bit of the kick up out of the front and then I'm playing a little bit, playing around a little bit with the, uh, with the anti-squat. Um, trying to get my on power steering and control down and a little bit with a uh, rear toe. But other than that, the car jumps awesome, lands awesome. I'm starting to feel a lot more confident with it already. Or I feel like I can do whatever I want with it. So I'm almost there. Um, the first battery got up was bad. You guys, whew, it was bad. Um, but again, it was a lot of factors in that first battery. New track, wet, new car, car not dialed in, but we're getting there, guys. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be really good here at, in a little bit. So, whew, almost there. Sorry for the lighting. I'm in the announcer booth. Um, lighting's not the best in here, but you know, that's what it is. You gotta deal with it. Almost perfect. I can't really tell if it's perfect, perfect because I need like new tires and I want to run the right tires. I've been just running practice tires. The car feels great. I was busting up on James Titus over there. Made him my B. No, it is what it is. He's not even, he's not even, he's not even listening. Anyways, the pits are filling up. Club race night. Titus. Yep. Trying to avoid, we're trying to avoid being on the vlog. I'm working over here. <laughs> pits are filling up. Should be a pretty fun night. I'm excited. First night back out with Techno. Do what? It's a Hero 5. So, it's gonna be fun.
Peter Pusser. Check out this thing that just came in. The Tamaya flatbed semi trailer for 14 scale tractor truck. It's big. It's heavy. That's heavy? No, the whole truck. What is it? What's in there? Let's see what's in there. Probably the truck. Oh, dang. That thing is legit. The whole trans and everything. Three speed transmission, everything. Yeah. Nice. Quarter deck. That's super cool. This, my friends, is not good. Look how much play is in that servo. Oh. I'm going to try to run it anyways, see what happens. I didn't finish my first two qualifiers because it just became untrimmed. Um, this is pretty bad. And I don't want to change the servo out, so I'll change it out tonight. We'll see what happens. All right, so I opted not to run my main, uh, my servo. It's old. Man, I got to quit using old crap, so it's like the gears are a little worn or something, but it's just, it's not trimming out. It's got the jitters. Eh, it, I should have replaced it a long time ago, but instead of replacing the servo, I had two DNFs in both my qualifiers. I tried to just drive through it, and I can't, so... Instead of replacing the servo, I'm just pulling my car out, but we're about to run a race. It's really interesting. Uh, the race director, he put together a race called uh, Look Up Race. So what this race is, is they put buckets in the lanes, and they want the drivers to be able to look up to dodge the buckets. So if you hit a bucket, you're automatically out. So what people are going to be doing is they're going to be moving the buckets around, and you have to look up ahead of the track to make sure you don't hit a bucket. So we're going to see how this race goes, and... It should be really interesting. <laughs> evening, evening. Cliff, how's it going, bud? So, what do you think, Pete? Uh, well, I mean, that depends. Are we talking about your race program or just the night general? Dude, oh, don't worry about my race program, dude. It's going to get there. I just, I want to help, Mark. Dude, I, I know. Help. Don't, I'll be here Tuesday. The night's I'll, going I'll good, be here, though. I'll be here two, two days from now, I'll be here. Are you coming Tuesday? Yeah, I'm coming Tuesday. I'm racing Tuesday. Heard it. You heard I'm, ra it. I'm racing Tuesday. I'm racing it. Tuesday, guys. Tuesday is underway. There we go. This is heat one of our lookup class. These are the sportsman lookup drivers. If you hit a bucket, you're out. Remember, guys, you want those buckets moving around. Ready for a break in the field. We got one out. Grab him, put him on his lid on the side. If you can leave that bucket on the side and roll it across the track, I don't care. It's just got to be to where they can look up and see the bucket, that's all. Buckets need to be moving around, guys. Oh, there you go, Lord. I got to do that up here. Okay. This was right in the middle. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's one out right there. Is that the orange shrimp? You're out. Go to pit lane, orange shrimp. You're out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hallette, this is your final lap. You're done, Simon Hallette. That's pretty good. Some fun racing. Oh, uh, orange car. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like that video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.